Good morning. Today is January 31st, 2024. The whole month's gone by this year already. And I'm back bringing you the 365 prayers and activations for entering the courts of heaven with Robert Henderson. And the title of today's message is Repentance and Remission of Sin. And he first quotes from Luke 24, 47, and 48. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. So we are witnesses of these things, all nations. He goes on to say this. The word witness is the Greek word martis. M-A-R-T-Y-S. It speaks of someone giving judicial testimony, but also of a martyr. The willingness to lay down our life for his purpose grants us great power to testify. Notice that the testimony that is released is a call for repentance and allows the remission or the forgiveness of sin. There is no forgiveness of sin without repentance. There is no forgiveness of sin without repentance. We really have to turn from our ways. The blood testifying in our behalf can only do so as we, through repentance, through repentance, agree with his voice. When we repent, all that has been made available to us through the death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of Christ can now be ours. Through our repentance, we are agreeing agreeing with the voices of heaven and the blood of Jesus. We must allow the witnesses of heaven to produce in us a repentance that causes our sins to be remitted and removed. May the chief witness, the Holy Spirit, produce in us a repentance not to be repented of, May we come to a deep place of surrender that allows a conforming to his image and likeness. The blood is speaking for us. May we agree and receive all its testimony is securing. And Robert's prayer is this. Lord, as I come before your courts, I surrender to you and your purposes. I respond to the witness of those who represent you and the power of the Holy Spirit. I repent and I yield my life to you as fully as I know how. I ask, Lord, that today it might be recorded in the court that I am your servant and humbled before you. May you work in me deep repentance that changes my heart into your image and likeness. May I be conformed to who you are in every aspect of my life. May I reflect your glory and majesty of you. May I be a demonstration of you in the earth today. And uh, my prayer for today would be this. Uh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you died for us on the cross, God. And when we repent of our sins, God, you cleanse us, God. You cleanse us with your the cleansing power of your blood, God. Help us be called to repentance for every sin, God. Quicken our spirits, Lord. Show us your way. We were created in your image, Lord. We were created in your image. That is awesome. And that's that's hard to understand, but you created us in your image. Help us to be like you, Lord. Show us your way, God. Show us in your word, God. Let your word just seep deep into our hearts, God, into our minds and into our spirits, Lord, that we can call upon your word to help guide us through our day every day. And show us that you are right with us, and as we repent, you forgive. Thank you for your forgiveness, God. Thank you for your love and kindness. Thank you that you are love. Help us to fear you, God. Not fear, be afraid, but to just, just, uh, just, just to know your word and be in awe, in overwhelming awe of who you are, and 
how mighty and how mightily you love us. Each one, every single one, everyone on the planet, God, you love, help us to love everyone like you love everyone. And let not this day go by, Lord, that we don't do something kind and good and virtuous, that we look around us everywhere we go for opportunity to bless you, God, by blessing your children, Lord. We thank you for every opportunity, God. We thank you for every opportunity. And we thank you for this day. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I do pray you'll be blessed today. That was a good word. And uh, pray that you go about your day with the love of Christ in your heart, in your mind. When things come on you, any frustration, frustration or any anger or anything stirs in you, it's not of him. Just let him, just let him, let his peace settle you down and connect with our Lord. And he'll show you the way. He'll show you the way. Even if it's hard, he'll show you the way. It's, it's never going to be easy. But he is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. That's why I love that song at Christmas time so much. Emmanuel. It's my, it's my favorite Christmas song, I think. God with us just reminds me that he's with us right this second. Every second. Enter into his presence with awe. With the with, a, with, with fear, awe, fear, and love, and just uh, try to grasp a little bit of who he is, and let it touch you, and then touch him back, because when he touches you, it does touch him back. Be blessed today, my friends, until tomorrow. I love you, but he loves you so much more. <laughs>